I am going to ask you a very simple question. Can you see any number in this paper? What if I change the lighting conditions? I know this is an extreme case, but as you have just seen right now, light affects the way we perceive the world and can even influence us to make certain decisions. Whether or not we are aware of the power of light, we should know that big corporations profit millions from it every day. For example, the way we light up a city during Christmas is designed to increase our buying patterns and consumption. All the commercial streets in European cities have the same pattern for Christmas, and in this case the light is presented as an art form, and a lot of people, including myself, are attracted to see the lights at commercial streets. Another interesting example are casinos, because usually they are designed to make the user lose track of time and spend more time, and therefore more money inside. In many cases, when we are at a casino, it is impossible to see outside, so there is no way to know visually if it is day or night in the external world. In addition, in some casinos light sources are emitting something similar to daylight, so the permanent sensation is that time does not pass and that there is no need to go to sleep. Other more advanced systems can even force us to choose between different products. Let me give you one last example about that. Which of the tomatoes would you choose? And what if I tell you that both tomatoes are the same tomato but illuminated differently? Both pictures were taken with the same exact camera settings, but as you can see, on the right there are much more vivid colors on the left, and the only difference is that the lighting on the right is meant to increase the saturation of the red color. Unconsciously, many of us will choose the fruit with the most vivid colors because it seems to be at a more optimal point of ripeness. However, the influence of light on people is not always so visible, and in fact, there are other mechanisms that affect people that go beyond visual differences. If we are exposed to a poor lighting system in our home, we can have severe health and well-being problems. In domestic environments, exposure to powerful artificial lighting at night leads to an increase in the rate of obesity, an increase in blood pressure, an increase in stress, a significant reduction in the quality of sleep, diabetes and depression in the elderly, an increased risk of injuring athletes, an increased risk of breast cancer in women, and all this is just an example of what has been published in scientific journals in recent years. But of course, in order to know how to solve these problems, we must first ask ourselves what is happening in our body to create all these problems. And the answer is located in our eyes. Inside, we can find a type of photoreceptor cells that react according to the blue content present in light. These cells are linked to our circadian cycles and biological clocks, which means that they are related to a wide variety of molecular, physiological and psychological processes and have a profound influence on people's mental and physical health. The blue content of a light source can greatly affect us, and on the market we can find light sources with a very high or very low blue content. Usually, cool light sources have more blue than warm light sources, so the question is, which is better for health, warm light or cool light? And the answer is, it depends. Keep in mind that our body has evolved over thousands and thousands of years with the sun as the single reference of light. Humans, if we could choose, would wake up when the sun is rising or has already risen and go to sleep when the sun has already gone down for a while. The photoreceptor cells I mentioned before, which capture blue light, have the function of telling our body whether it is day or night. In the beginning of the last century, we saw the advent of modern artificial lighting in our homes and now our photoreceptor cells are basically lost, as during the night we are usually properly illuminated to continue activities such as dining, watching TV or reading. Our bodies are biologically designed to be in environments where lighting is dynamic, changing during the cycle of the day, so being inside our homes or workplaces for long periods of time can be detrimental if the lighting is static. We, the modern society, spend more time than ever indoors, suffering from a lack of natural light that affects us far beyond our vision, dramatically affecting our circadian rhythms. This is something that the world of medicine knows perfectly well, and in fact there are studies from the end of the 19th century that show that patients in a hospital recover sooner if they have been exposed to natural lighting. 
nowadays dynamic lighting systems capable to mimic the natural cycle of light are starting to be installed in professional environments such as hospitals, co-working spaces or offices, among others. But first I want to talk about a specific case that, from my point of view, it stands out for its precocity, the Sagrada Familia. Although the mechanism of circadian action related to light was found in the 21st century, some brilliant minds of the past centuries already said its importance without any published scientific evidence. Although I was born 200 meters from this monument, I didn't enter until a few months ago and beyond the astonishing architecture, one detail caught my attention. The colored crystals that act as light filters. During the morning, sunlight enters from the right side of the image, providing cool illumination to the whole interior, and in the evening, light enters from the left, creating a relaxing warm atmosphere. By trying to mimic a forest with its natural light, Antoni Gaudí, the architect, became a pioneer at the end of the 19th century by applying circadian lighting designs, seeking the comfort provided by the modern concept of dynamic lighting. But obviously, applying colored crystals to our home is not a valid solution for everybody. Today, with the consolidation of the LED technology, we have much more advanced systems that give us basically endless possibilities. We can find bulbs that emit warm light, cool light, or even light of different colors. As you might expect after all I have told you about it, static lighting should be avoided to illuminate closed places without windows or with low natural light. If we have a space with natural lighting, so that during the day we do not need artificial lighting, at night it is recommended to have warm light, powerful enough to be able to read without having to strain our eyes. As practically all cultures have associated fireplaces with the concept of home, and in ancient times mankind has illuminated caves with fires on the floor, it is visually more pleasant if the light is located at a lower plane, so that the light doesn't have a glare and appears to be coming from the floor. In case of enclosed spaces without natural lighting, during the day it is recommended to have several layers of light or different lighting options depending on our needs. On a practical level, this means that we should have a powerful cool light coming from the ceiling during the day and a warmer light at night, as I have just explained. Another interesting option are smart bulbs that can change the warmth of the light, so that during the day we can choose cooler whites than at night, bringing us closer to the dynamism of natural lighting. This option is probably the future of the lighting world, although it is still in the process of being accepted by the general public, since its price is a little higher than a conventional bulb and its setup can sometimes not be entirely intuitive for everyone. Although technology is advancing very rapidly, the simplest conclusion we can draw from all the published scientific evidence is that we must stay outside as much as possible, enjoying sunlight during the day and avoid exposure to high-intensity cool light at night. We must try to stay synchronized with the outside world and our health and well-being will benefit greatly. Thank you.